Hey guys, Ryan, so today we're going to be reacting to The 100 Season 2, Episode 14, called Bodyguard of Lies. I don't know what is going to happen. All I do know is that last episode ended with them heading towards Mount Weather. So, there's three episodes left, so I doubt they're going to attack this episode, but... Like, I don't know what will happen, because I'm sure this episode will probably see Jaha and Murphy, because... It's like they're doing like every other episode thing with them on their way to find the City of Light. Um, Bellamy and has like infiltrated Mount Weather now and Jasper and everybody is, they're like in hiding, right? Yeah, they're, they're all in hiding now after fighting back. But I, mean, I, I just want to get into this episode honestly because I, I just feel like something big will happen. Maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong, but I just feel like something big or something really good is going to happen because we're still reeling with the stuff with Abby and Clark after Clark let the explosion happen or the missile uh, happen at the, was it Ton DC or was it just like a grounder camp? I don't know, but I mean, we're going to find out all the answers to the questions over the next episode, so I'm very excited, so let's go. Oh, there's his leg. Oh, Jane, what the heck? Yes, sir. Oh, I hate this guy. They radiated an entire level. I agree. Because you're trying to kill him. God. I've been safe down here for 97 years. I don't think you're going to be safe for 97 more. Oh. The truth is, we must look into the eyes of our warriors and say, go die for me. That's not how it works with Clark. Just trying to keep us alive. I mean, you're in a war, Clark, so people are going to die, but I get you want to keep as many people as you can alive. What the heck? Yeah. Oh, no. Frick. Thank you, Bellamy. Good job. Oh, perfect. Take his card. Because I can't figure this out. No one could. Like, yeah, the grounders couldn't do crap. Okay. You're still alive. I saw you in Ton DC before the missile hit. I know you, Clark. Something was wrong. And uh, then you and Lex said dis... Of course. Tell me you didn't know it was coming. Clark, you messed up. Like, did you not think anybody would figure it out? You were gonna yep. let me die. That, oh, I didn't even think about that. You're in charge now, and you decide who's disposable. I'm on Octavia's side. Oh, uh-oh. Just keep walking. Don't even listen to Alexa. She won't say anything. You can't be sure of that. You're not killing Octavia. Uh-uh. I can't with this show. If Octavia dies, I'm not watching. I don't trust anybody in this frickin' mountain. This is taking too long. Somebody's gonna flip and die. Yeah. Indra's still there. Where the heck is Octavia? Hmm. Thank God Clark found out. Thank God Clark's gonna frickin' save her. Oh, you... Oh, Let's go. thank you, Clark. Even though you're going to get in trouble with Lexa, but whatever. Need an arm? I hate sand. I hate it so much. This would not be the, the mission for me. Oh, wow, that's a really awesome shot. Does anybody know if they filmed this in, like, the actual desert or something? Or, like, where did they film this at? Wow, the cinematography is really good. I told you, she's not a problem. Octavia would never do anything to risk Clark's Leave life. Us. Octavia is a threat. No, she's not. You want everyone Clark, to back off. All, but I this is way too intense. How the heck are they in an alliance? <laughs> then why the heck do you have an alliance if you can't trust each other? Octavia. Clark, you're going to get yourself killed. Because that woman does not have any feelings. 
Where did they film this at? Like, that doesn't even look like CGI. It looks so good. See, like, you already lost it, honestly. Alright, I mean... Like... I'm excited for the battle. Like, that's what I'm looking forward to. The City of Light journey it's you know it's there i'm looking forward to seeing how it plays out i'm hoping he has a good conclusion but i'm ready kind of for it to wrap up because these characters are like losing interest but it's still it was still an it's still an interesting story don't get me wrong i don't want people in the comments to get mad or something that i'm saying i don't like a certain part of the show um i'm trying to be more open about how i feel i feel like sometimes in a show when something happens i don't really express it enough because i don't want to make people mad but that storyline, you know, it's there, but there's a lot more things that are going on. Um, I wish, I do wish that the show stayed at 13 episodes, because I feel like there has been some filler in between some of this episodes now, because they're trying to make the finale, like, the big conclusion that's really interesting, and, like, that, I understand that, but if they stayed at 13, it would be, I think it would be a little bit, like, faster paced, it would feel like that. We'd actually, this we would have just watched the season three premiere if it was only 13 episodes, but, you know, it's still a good episode. I really, the Clark and Lexa took me way by surprise, and it almost doesn't make sense to me, because they had no sort of, like, to me, they didn't have, like, that kind of chemistry, but, I and I always thought Clark was going to end up with Bellamy or something like that, because Clark was with Finn, but, I mean, obviously, she could be bi or something like that, so... We haven't explored that, obviously, but I'm assuming we'll find more out about that later on and what sort of happens with their relationship. So, but yeah, I mean, like, I don't know what's going to happen. I feel like, so I, so, I feel like Wick is going to die just because he was, out, he didn't show up for a while and then he, be, he was in this episode and now he's kind of with Raven or whatever. Or they had that thing and now it's, I think they're going to fight. I'm assuming, so hopefully they don't die. And I just realized this too, that Jasper and Monty have literally been in that mountain the entire season, which is kind of sad. But, yeah, really good episode. Like, well, it was a good episode. Like, I enjoyed it, but I'm assuming the next two are going to be probably the best of the season. Um, the Finn episode was really good, though, the episode eight. So, but this one really sort of, like, brought the stakes higher with the war because they're like they're on their way. I'm pretty sure they're there. Like they were screaming and running. Why would you start running if you're not there, right? So I'm assuming that they're there and the next episode in the next episode is gonna start the war. And maybe it'll continue into the finale. I don't know, but I'm excited to see what happens. So yeah, it was a good episode. Don't get me wrong, I don't want people to think that I didn't like it at all because I was talking down on like the City of Light thing, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. For full reactions, um, go over to Patreon. For a dollar, you can get full reactions to The 100, The Boys, The Walking Dead. Well, all three Walking Dead shows, Fear the Walking Dead, World Beyond. Um, uh, Umbrella Academy is starting very soon. It will have already started by the time this goes up on YouTube, so it's already over there. It's probably a few episodes in, actually. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time.